Welcome to this tutorial video. Did you know that SOLIDWORKS has its own diagnostics tool? It is called SOLIDWORKS RX and it is a separate application from SOLIDWORKS. Let's explore this tool together. SOLIDWORKS RX assists clients in capturing and analyzing software problems. It can also suggest possible solutions to system issues, perform system maintenance, and capture and review problems. It can gather complete log files from Windows and SOLIDWORKS, and even capture video files to assist in the diagnosis of the problem. This data can be shared with our technical support team at AMP, and if necessary, we can escalate the system issue to a support team at SOLIDWORKS. You can search for SOLIDWORKS RX in Windows by typing in the Windows search bar. Or you can access RX straight from the SOLIDWORKS software. Click on the SOLIDWORKS resources panel. Then, under SOLIDWORKS tools, click on SOLIDWORKS RX. Once you have opened SOLIDWORKS RX, you will see the following tabs Home, Diagnostics, System Maintenance, Problem Capture, Reliability, Files and Logs, and Benchmark. The Home tab provides descriptions of each tab here with direct links to the relevant tabs. Here are two options for opening SOLIDWORKS in Safe Mode. The first Safe Mode option is Software Open GL Mode. OpenGL or Open Graphics Library is an application for rendering 2D and 3D vector graphics and does not use the OpenGL support on your graphics card. The Safe Mode option is a helpful test to check if a graphics issue is caused by your graphics card firmware or software. The second Safe Mode option opens SOLIDWORKS by bypassing the Tools and Options settings. The safe mode can be used to test if the issue you are experiencing is caused by customization you made within the tools or options settings. Next, the Diagnostics tab. The Diagnostics tab lists the current hardware and system settings of your PC that have an effect on SOLIDWORKS. This tab gives useful feedback on your system, such as warnings, errors and extra information as seen in the key here below. The most important item to note here is the graphics card information as seen at the top over here. You can check if your graphics card has been tested for SOLIDWORKS by clicking this link here. Here you can see where you last rebooted your PC. A reboot is a common quick fix for issues. You can also check how much free space you have on your device and how much free RAM you have here. You can see I have some warnings over here. Warnings do not always indicate a problem, but rather warn you of a potential problem. Next is the System Maintenance tab. The System Maintenance tab is for setting backup directories removing temporary files for SOLIDWORKS and Windows, and performing system maintenance. Next is the Problem Capture tab. This tab allows you to capture information from your device and software and compile it in a report. Allow a few seconds for the system information to load. The first step is to capture. You can capture information from SOLIDWORKS and Windows and even capture video files in this step. You may also check this box to include any extended logging data. Then click Yes. Here you can see that I have no video data yet. To record a video of the problem, go to Source and click on the Options arrow. You can choose to record your SOLIDWORKS window only, or you can record your whole screen. If you have additional monitors, they will also be included in this list of options. 
please note that you can only capture one screen during the recording. For this tutorial, I will select my SOLIDWORKS window only. Then, when you are ready, click Record Video. When recording your SOLIDWORKS window only, you can choose either your current session or you can choose to restart your SOLIDWORKS. I will be using my current session. When you are ready, start the capture by clicking Record. This recording window will stay on your screen throughout the recording. I will move it to the top corner over here. Note that this recording only includes what you display on the screen and it does not include any audio. Now you may go ahead and indicate where the problem is. I will use this file as an example. Here you can see I have attempted a boss extrude, but it is producing an error instead of producing a solid feature. Here you can see the error message. So after showing the message, I can open my sketch and indicate my sketch in the recording as well. When tech support views this recording, they will see that there is a line that is not supposed to be there and it is causing an error in the feature. Tech support will then give feedback and assist the client accordingly so the error can be fixed. Once you have finished capturing, you can click on Finish. Please wait while the results are being finalized. Now that we have recorded a video, there will be some data in the video content size here. The second step is to package. If you want to include more files together with your recording, click on Add Files and select your files accordingly. Then click Package Files. Please do not rename your recording file or any of the files in your report as the file names have crucial information for tech support. Then click Save. Then you may click on Continue to Step 3. The third step is to add a description. Click Describe and make sure to fill all the details in this window accurately. Once you have finished typing in all the relevant information, you may click OK. The Reliability tab allows you to view information on sessions that have been terminated within the past 60 days. The Benchmark tab allows you to test the performance of your device and compare it to the performance of the devices of other SOLIDWORKS users. Before running a benchmark test, Make sure that you have rebooted your computer. Take note that this test requires about 30 minutes to run. During this test, you should avoid using your computer. Now you know how to use SOLIDWORKS RX to analyze system information by yourself or record issues and create files to be sent to the support team. That concludes our tutorial video. We hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more SOLIDWORKS tutorials.